lemon. <laughs> What's the matter, Richard Apple? You're looking kind of stern. <laughs> Annoying Orange was absolute insanity. It was at the height of its popularity in the 2010s and was talked about a lot, but now it's slowly faded into obscurity, for better or for worse. Annoying Orange was created by Dane Bodegama. I'm probably not saying it right, but who cares? I wonder if they knew what monstrosity they created. Bar, bar. I don't really need to explain Annoying Orange because you probably already know what it is. It's been around since 2010. Damn, how are they still uploading? It's been 14 years. How are you not sick of this? So, when is Annoying Orange going to leave YouTube? The first glimpse we saw of Annoying Orange was the Annoying Orange, uploaded in 2009 on the Dan Bo channel. And it was nothing special except... Hey Apple! Hey Apple! Holy shit, the prophecy. Annoying Orange annoys Apple and he dies. The end. Just look at him. He feels no remorse whatsoever. Now, let's talk about his design. This is what nightmares are made of. Look at his cold, lifeless eyes. And they're both the same eyes. They just use the right eye for the left eye. Like, you can clearly tell. If you pause that at any frame, it looks uncanny. I don't like it. He looks like he would fit right into a horror game. Annoying Orange at 3am. So that video got very popular, so Danbo kept making them, and now Annoying Skibbity Toilet. Oh no. But let's talk about the other characters like Pear, who's the straight man and hates Orange. Midget Apple or Lil Apple, his hobby is murdering zombies while in his monster truck. He was voted most likely to play in the NBA in Cruel Middle School. Wait, what the fuck? Grapefruit, he has the personality of a bodybuilder, as he likes to flex. How? He doesn't have any arms. The grapefruit voice actor got replaced by this new guy for some reason. Hashtag not my grapefruit. Grandpa Lemon, he's old and he has dementia. Grandpa Lemon! Whoa, what? Whoa, whoa, who, who are you? Marshmallow, who's apparently non-binary now for some reason. Passion Fruit. Why is Passion Fruit kinda... Kinda bad. Annoying Orange would often feature a lot of YouTubers and celebrities, like Shane Dawson as a coconut, Smosh as bananas and Charlie the drunk guinea pig, Tim Curry as Freezer and Professor Plum, Ray William Johnson as Crab Apple, Zach Scott as Wasabi and Pineapple, Jamie Oliver, what? As Prune Juice and Weezer. Weezer! What the fuck? Isn't that a band? As Party Platter. Like, how did they manage to get all these people? Like, people were genuinely wanting to get on Annoying Orange because of how big it was. I spiked them up to look cool, and it's something you can't do because you are- Whoa! Look who's the baldy now! Annoying Orange is responsible for the mass genocide of several fruits. But now, the absolute magnum opus, Orange Nene style. Oh, it's just beautiful. I want to play it at my funeral. And they got this really crappy Psy impersonator to come in in the middle that looks nothing like him. It's just some random Asian guy. Oh yeah, turn that shit up. This unironically goes hard. Friday goes hard as well. And I remember it more than the actual song it's based off of. It's permanently ingrained in my head. And yes, I remember that annoying orange TV show that Cartoon Network somehow greenlit and got two seasons. We can hide in here. It's kind of dark, don't you think? Think of it as romantic. See? Even the music is romantic. How do I turn it off? This was a fucking fever dream. This felt like it didn't exist. I watched it sometimes because it would be on ABC3 when I came home from school. But it was usually when I was waiting for an actually good show to come on after. Like, the day my butt went psycho. But, the thing is... Tabuscus was in it as a major character named Nerville, who works at a grocery store named Danbo's. I never really watched Tabuscus as a kid. I just know him from the Do you like my sword, 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 my diamond sword, sword? I don't know why he was in this. I guess it was the high of his popularity before the incident. So, this show takes place in a grocery store, not in a kitchen. So does that mean this is a prequel? Holy shit. Annoying Orange lore. But I don't know how anyone could deal with 11 minutes of Annoying Orange. I would just end it, honestly. The Annoying Orange Gaming Channel. This channel mostly featured those shitty mobile kids games or Roblox games or basically whatever was popular at the time. I'm farting around. Get it? 
Because my name's Fart. I'm literally farting around. My name is Fart. They haven't posted since two months ago, so I guess this channel is dead. But I've always wondered as a kid, how do they play games? They don't have any hands. Now, Annoying Orange merch. I feel like Annoying Orange doesn't work on a cap t-shirt hoodie or anything in fact, because the still image is just so cursed. It's fine when he's talking in the video, but when you pause, it's horrific. Like, what the fuck is this? I feel like you would be thrown in a dumpster for wearing this. Annoying orange plushie? I'll take your entire stock, please. There's fan art, AMVs. I hope you die in the fire! Um, fan fictions? <laughs> so, let's take a look at Annoying Orange's recent videos and see what he's up to these days. Oh boy. They should make a video where Orange looks maxes and has the hardest edge of his life. It seems like Annoying Orange has discovered the YouTube kid's brain rot loophole. We hate to see it. Now let's look at the shorts. What the fuck? So I could keep rambling on about Annoying Orange, because it goes pretty deep, but I've already gone insane and I have to delete my search history, because it's filled with Annoying Orange, and I don't want anyone to see that. But Annoying Orange has kind of fallen off. They are not getting the views that a channel that size should be getting. I've never heard anyone actually talk about it since 2018. I feel like it's just a zombie now. It died years ago and is trying to stay relevant to appeal to the new generation. Annoying Orange still seems like it's stuck in 2013 and still going on longer than it should. Live action Annoying Orange is the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. <laughs> 